Well, hello from Paris, where we are just days away from the official start of the 2024 Paris Olympics. And what a Games it's set to be. Of course, a record number of competitors have qualified from Ireland, 133, which is 17 up on the number that travelled to Tokyo three years ago. A lot of talk as well about the number of medals that Ireland could possibly win. Six is the record haul from London in 2012. We'll talk about this a little more as well with uh, Sean McGoldrick and Carl Dennehy on a video on independent.ie on Friday. So keep an eye out for that one. Of course, the opening ceremony will be here on Friday. It is the first time that an Olympic Games opening ceremony will take place outside the stadium. It is on the River Seine, of course. There's going to be a flotilla of boats and there's set to be an attendance of around 300,000 that will line um, the River Seine for that opening ceremony. Now, that has created a lot of restrictions in the heart of Paris. There's been a restriction zone around the River Seine for the past week or so. And certainly from what I've seen since arriving here last night, um, there's less traffic in the city centre, um, definitely much quieter, and there is a calm before the storm uh, vibe around the place. Now, the um, announcement with regards to who Ireland's two flag bearers will be for that opening start ceremony that will be announced on Friday, um, hours before the opening ceremony. Of course, Kelly Harrington and Brendan Irvine had uh, that honour three years ago in Tokyo. But of course, uh, these 2024 Paris Olympics, the start of them, is just 24 hours away from some of our competitors. Men's football and men's rugby sevens gets underway tomorrow. So the Irish men's rugby sevens team is the first in action for Ireland. They play two pool games tomorrow at the Stade de France against South Africa and Japan. They were in a pre-Olympic based on a tour and uh, arrived up from there last weekend. And they're in the Olympic Village. I'm heading out there in a while to interview a few of them. So keep an eye out for that on independent.ie.